One of the most helpful features about Canvas is that you can assign different due dates for different sections of a course. Uh, so in this example, we're going to be looking at an 8th grade social studies class where you'll see here on the 22nd that the uh, course um, meets on a Thursday and the same assignment has been assigned to this uh, section 4 of the course and on Friday the rest of the students meet and so the, this assignment is assigned to them um, on that date um, for when it's due. Uh, Canvas has great documentation uh, on this available in their Canvas guides. This is not an overview or tutorial on how to create an assignment, but rather how assignments are inextricably linked into the gradebook. So uh, just note that whenever you create an assignment uh, in Canvas, uh, it will be linked back to the gradebook, and you can differentiate assignments in the gradebook uh, for a single student um, or for a section of students uh, when the due date is. Uh, note that when an assignment is um, grayed out for students, uh, that's because of the, that assignment in the gradebook has not been, and that, that it's been grayed out in the uh, gradebook because that assignment's not been included for students. So we're going to take a look at how this teacher has set up the assignment. Um, they've given it a title, um, more thorough description of how to complete the assignment, a point value, um, and how to prepare for this assignment. And then you'll notice that here that they've assigned this first to uh, one section of the course and given it a due date. Um, and then everyone else, so all the other sections besides this and the due date. Um, what you'll note is that in the gradebook, uh, this assignment shows up, uh, it's the last assignment that uh, shows up in the gradebook of uh, W2 source analysis, and you can see that it will show up either under all grading periods or just this particular section of the course. Um, what's great about this is it will limit the amount of grades that you see in any particular section of a course. Um, and so. Uh, uh, that way you can uh, toggle between your Q1 or Q2 based on what the terms are um, and how you've designed your course schema so that you can see grades uh, related to the course.